So, game seven. Talk about it. Come on. That's a great question. <laughs> uh, no, game seven. Uh, it all comes down to this. I think it's something that uh, we dream about. Um, you know, growing up as a uh, you know a youngster, uh, you know, loving the game of basketball. So it all comes down to, to one game, 48 minutes. You, know, you got to bring in every game. Uh, just lay it all on the line. You guys are on the road and in enemy territory, but why? Uh, what are some of the reasons why you are so confident you can get the job? Uh, I think we're a team that you know has. has you know, thrived in situations like this. Uh, I feel like we've uh, definitely, you know, gotten better and are battle tested. So we know it's going to be a, a hostile environment tomorrow night. We know that they're very good and play very well at home and get their crowd into it. So we're going to have to be uh, obviously be, be ready to play and, and uh, you know come out and you know withstand some of their runs because they play well. How much of the fact that LeBron is playing the way that he has been playing uh, helps with that confidence? Uh, it's huge. I mean, he's he's uh, he's our leader. He, you know, he you know, picks up everybody. Um, and, you know, we expect you know, big things out of him because that's just who he is. When kids talk about or dream about Game Seven, it's usually they're the one making a buzzer beater shot. Um, <laughs> how do you how do you fit that into where you are now and uh, doing what the team needs? Um, Finding satisfaction where you can't even in those stretches. You have to. I mean, it's uh, it's the type of game you have to do whatever it takes. Um, you know, we, we had uh, Dante Jones, Mo Williams. Those guys came in last game and, and had big impacts, and you know they only played a couple of minutes. So um, you know, got a couple foul calls, made it, made a couple shots, great box outs. Uh, you know, uh, Dante got an and one. Um, with the free throw line, makes free throws, so it's it just is kind of whatever it takes. And um, even if it's in short spurts, or you play, you know, 30, 40 plus minutes, you got to go out there and, and do whatever it takes to get it done. And it, it comes down to just, you know, one game. Tomorrow being Father's Day, I know obviously you're not a father yet, but is there anything that your dad taught you as a kid that you always remember going into games, or that you'll remember going into maybe tomorrow? Anything he taught you? Uh, yeah, I mean, he he, uh, he put the ball in my hands when I was a uh, when I was a little kid. He, um, you know, he had played some big games, and um, you know, there's a reason I love the game today. So a lot of lessons learned from him, but um, you know, we uh, have to try to do it, uh, you know, for us and you know our families, and uh, you know, our family is here with these uh, you know 12, 15 guys in our organization. So we got to get it done. You guys had such a huge start, quick start to game six. Uh, how important will the start be to game seven? It'll be big. Um, you know, they're going to try to get their, their crowd into it. And it's going to be loud, hostile environment. So if we can you know, withstand some of their runs and uh, go on a couple of runs in front of our own, uh, you know, especially get it off to a good start in the first and third quarter, that's going to be big for us. You've won here um, at the Oracle Arena. What are, the, what are some of the lessons you've learned from blocking distractions or interruptions from the crowd? Yeah, I think just uh, you know, playing away from home, it's going it's to be a you against the world type mentality. And we all have to you know, make sure that we're locked in and, and you know, ready for anything that comes our way. So um, keep using the world uh, hostile. We know it's going to be that, that type of uh, that type of environment and it also makes it fun and it's a game seven um, you know away from home it's 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 going to be uh it's going to be crazy you're going to be able to sleep tonight yeah we'll be good <laughs> how long has this series been for you considering you know coming into it healthy excited about it, first finals and missing time getting hurt missing time um, yeah. everything that's gone into that speculation about your goal it seems like it seems like it's just been two weeks or whatever you know what we we won. Uh, you know, we forced it to a game seven. Uh, you know, it has been weird. Yeah, coming out, out of the first game, got hurt midway through the uh, the second game, concussion, couldn't play. Then came off the bench. Uh, you know, two unbelievable performances. And uh, what was it? Game game five, or was it game four? Game five back here. And then uh, you know, last game I got you know played not even three minutes. I got picked up three fouls. So it's been definitely odd but the fact that we've been able to you know been great with our our group and, and our unit no matter who's been playing and you know force it to a game seven and you know being able to you know withstand their their small ball lineup um, 
you know, I, it, like I said, it doesn't matter um, you know, as long as we win. You talked about picking up three quick fouls last game. How would that affect the way you would be coming out playing? Uh, same thing. Just be aggressive and uh, you know, just try to make a, a big impact. I mean, tomorrow you never know what can happen in the game seven. Kevin, how do you keep your confidence when this playoffs has been kind of up and down for you, the team? How do you kind of keep your I mean, you've, you've played, been in all-star games, you've, you've done a lot, but how do you kind of keep kind of your fortitude? That's it. I've mean, played basketball my whole life. Um, you know, I, as much as you guys want to make it, I'm, I'm fine. I'm going to go out there, play hard, make an impact. It's kind of a lesson that this game is just, I mean, you never know what's going to happen in this game, and you can't ever kind of think you've got it made. Uh, of course, and you know they, they play a different style of basketball more more so than anybody in the entire league. And uh, you know I'm mentioning uh, what this series has been like. Every game has been, and really in the playoffs, every game is is, is different in itself. So um, you know we just uh, like I said, anything can happen in a game seven, and you know no matter what happens, we just want to come out on top. It doesn't matter. Just because of the familiarity of the repeated performances against them and the time to lock in with the days in between. How much have you learned about this opponent you know, compared to catching them in January and whoop, there they go and we'll see them again in you know, March? Yeah, I think we learn a lot about them. They learn a lot about us, but we also figure out you know, a lot about ourselves and, and what it takes to win. I mean, it's, it's very hard to not only win in this league, but uh, you know, win against a team that uh, you know has been historically good throughout the entire year, plays well here, um, you know, hasn't lost many games in a row. So we're going to have to. It'll really be uh, great tomorrow, and and you know pick up on both sides of the ball. Are you healthy now? Yes. No lingering effects or from the concussion? No, nah, I'm good. After how long did it take you to get over the shoulder? And was, did it carry into this season? I know you're probably quiet about it. Were you completely healthy from October? Starting the year? Yeah. Um, no, I'd say the only, uh, I guess. Uh, I don't know if the, the right word is setback, but the only thing that kind of uh, you know didn't get me into uh, rhythm right away was just that I hadn't played um, or shot the ball until really September. So um, I really get my shoulder back to full strength. I wasn't quite all there to start the season, but um, you know we were still able to come out the first month and a half before I was able to get there and, and play well. What's Toronto shown you since you know, he's taken over? Uh, definitely a uh, calm and. Uh, you know, kind of a, a quiet confidence about him that um, you know we're we're able to to follow. And you know, when he speaks, we listen. He's you know been there, done that, played with great players. Um, you know, very very confident in, in, in what he wants to get done on both sides of the ball. And um, I think we follow that. Kevin, you talk about Kyrie coming up in the series, kind of putting his stamp on being just a better player. Great. I mean, he's uh, been in attack mode this entire series. Um, you know, he's he's uh, been special. He's really picked up his game. I've uh, been following Bronze lead, and um, you know, with that with that lineup out there, we, we need him to be great. He stepped up to the challenge. Can you also talk about the importance of this potential victory for the city of Cleveland? Oh, it's huge. I mean, we have tremendous support from our fans, uh, tremendous support from uh, you know, the city of Cleveland, uh, Ohio as well, and I mean, really Cleveland fans all over. So uh, we get a lot of love on the road and know that uh, we, we're going to have a lot of people having our back tomorrow night, and it's going to be a raucous crowd, uh, hostile, but um, you know, we're going to have to come together and know that we have a, a, a large backing. Last one, guys. Anybody else? Thanks a lot. <laughs> yeah, tomorrow night that'll that'll be tough, but uh, you know there's uh, there's bigger things at hand at hand tomorrow, but we'll see.